I'm Julian with Real Tech Controls and I'm going to show you the programming of the PR Electronics 4116 transmitter in the advanced programming mode. I have a potentiometer attached to this device, the input, for zero is equal to four milliamps. And if I scroll the pot all the way to the other side, 100% or the pot only goes to 99.7 is equal to 20 milliamps, which we will calibrate out in the menu item a little bit later. I have relays, as you can see, turning on and off over there. The first relay, number one, is set at 50%. So as I scroll past 50, my relay one turns on. And as I scroll past 75, relay two turns on. The up and down arrow is the general trend of the device. So if I'm going lower, it shows you my process is going down. And if I go up, it shows you my process is trending up. And the little heartbeat on the side there is to show you that the 4501 display is communicating with a 4116 transmitter. Okay, I'm just going to turn off all relays for now. To get into the menu, you push OK. You choose Advanced Menu, Yes. The first item is, mem is memory or mem. What this allows you to do is save your configuration from the 4116 transmitter to the 4501 display. You choose save. So now my configuration and setup, my relays, my outputs, my inputs is saved to this top display. I disconnect it by pushing my thumb into the clip. And now I can attach this to another transmitter. You'll also see that even though this is disconnected, the display still works. And there's my relays activated too. So your milliamp outputs, everything is still working. Now you attach it back. You can see there that that's the current state. I'm just going to turn them off again. And now I want to go into the advanced menu and I want to choose memory and load. Now my configuration is now being transferred from this top clip on display to the transmitter below. So if you have many transmitters that you need to program, that's a very easy function to save the program and then just download it into the other transmitters. The next item is display. This is to set up the display of the unit contrast. You can see the writing get darker. And it goes back to zero again. The next item is light. This is the backlight. You can also switch it off if you choose zero. Mine is the brightest. You can also choose a tag or label number for this device. So at the moment, it's set a tag zero four. You can change that to say tag zero five. Now it gives you an option. What do you want? to show on line three of the device where the instructions are scrolling across at the bottom at the moment. You can choose the analog value which we had or we can choose the tag. So we're going to choose the tag and you'll see now that the tag is now shown at the bottom so you can have a label of the device if the output, the milliamp output is not important. To change it back We just choose analog out. And now you can see that the analog value of the potentiometer is now shown, uh, the milliamp output. The next item is calibration. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the potentiometer to say 1%. Say, for instance, you've got a little bit more water in a tank and it's 1%, but your tank is actually at zero, but your transmitter for some reason is showing higher, and you want to calibrate that to exactly four. In Cal, you set up your low calibration, says calibrate the low, you choose yes, and I want to select that to zero. Do you want to calibrate the high? Not yet. Use calibration. There's an option to use or cancel out the calibration you've done. If I choose yes, now you'll see that at 1% of my pot, it's actually showing me 4. 
And if I go all the way down, you'll see that there's my negative 1%, so it does let you go lower. So now I'm gonna adjust the pot all the way up. And say my full value of my tank or my process is 90%. Okay, but I want this to show 100%. So I go into my calibration again. I don't want to calibrate my low. Now I want to calibrate my high. And I want to adjust that now to 100%. Calibrate, use calibration, yes. So now you'll see that when my pot is 90, it's still going to be 100%. If I go over, you can see it go a little bit over. So basically, this is a linear calibration too. And you'll see that if I do go to 12 milliamps or 50% of my pot, it's a very, very accurate linear device. And that scales it completely linear through your range. And you can calibrate any low and any high, basically. If I want to take that calibration away, so say I want a brand new system installed and I don't want the calibration anymore, you can just choose, you don't want to use the calibration. And this now resets the calibration or just takes out any high or low values that it's been scaled at. And you can see there that that's the original high value of the pot. There we go. The next item in the menu is simulate. So say I'm just gonna hold the OK button and that gets me out of the menu. If you hold the OK, it scrolls backwards. Say I have a signal break. I'm gonna just take the output away, sorry, the input away. And now it gives me a sensor break with 3.5 milliamps because I've programmed it to go low on a sensor break. But now I can't have this process shut down. I can go into the advanced menu I can go simulate, enable simulation, yes. Now I'm actually simulating what the pot should be. So if I move this up and down, that's actually simulating a physical input. And you'll see that if I have 50%, you'll actually be getting uh, your milliamps out of there at 12 milliamps. And also still works the relays, as you can see at the bottom, your relay still function as if the potentiometer was connected but I'm just using the top display for simulation. So that is the output uh, simulated from the input. If I just want to simulate my relays, you push it again. And you can see the relay one pushes when you push, uh, changes when you push the up arrow and relay two alternates when you change the, uh, when you push the bottom arrow. So this is for complete simulation of your milliamp outputs and your relays without anything being connected. Push OK and it goes back to the normal reading mode. And if I connect my potentiometer once more, there we go, comes back to normal. The next item in the advanced menu is password. You can set up a password. If you go yes, you can set up a number that you'll have to type in once you try and access the menu again. We're not going to do that for now because we want to make this presentation a little bit quicker. We enable fast. What this does is enables you to change the set points for your relays on the actual menu itself on the, uh, on the home screen. So if you say yes, so now if I'm in the home screen, I don't have to go into my general setup to access my relays. I can just push the up arrow and there I can set my set point or change it for relay one. And if I wanted to change it for relay two, just push down and there's my relay two. You can make that say 70. And now my relays are set at those two different values. If I now go into the advanced menu again, password, enable no, and enable fast, no. So now I've cancelled out that. So now if I push the up arrow, I can just view it, but I can't change anything. The next item in my advanced menu 
is the language function. I can choose between English, ES, Spanish, Italian. There's a few options here that you can actually change the language of this device. You leave it as UK English. The next function is latch. What latch does is if your relays uh, turn on and it's a critical process that you don't want them to just reset when it goes below the set point of the relay and you have to have human intervention, this is how you can set it up for a critical function. We're going to choose relay 1, latch, yes. Relay 2, latch, no, I'm just going to make sure that my relays are not, connect, are not uh, on, so I'm just going to turn the pot down. So now you'll see that as I increase this and the relay latches, I think it was 48% that the relay turned on. There we go. You can see it latch. So now it's got an alarm. Even if I go below, that relay is still on because it needs somebody to come and reset that. So now operator comes, he pushes OK, and then you have instructions saying relay 1 is latched. Press up to reset. I push the up arrow. It also asks me if I really want to reset that. So you really have to know that you want to cancel this error. You push yes, and now the relay is off. And until I go again, it'll latch again. And you can do the same for relay two. So I'm going to get in there. I'm just going to set my latch. I'm going to take that latch off. There we go. If we go into the advanced menu again, it just scrolls back to memory again to uh, uh, to cycle through that, that menu structure. Um, that is the programming of the advanced menu of the 4116 transmitter. Remember, holding the OK button gets you out of there. And then this is just my normal operating and my process again. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit realtechcontrols.com. Thanks a lot.